Welcome to Alberta Rheumatology's discussion on IL-23 and IL-12 and 23 inhibitors. These inhibitors are DMARDs, or disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. They belong to a large class of medications known as biologics. They work by blocking interleukins 12 and 23, which are proteins involved in the body's immune system that contribute to inflammation. By blocking these proteins, the medications cause a reduction in inflammation. They can take a few weeks to start working, although different patients may respond differently. There are two inhibitors currently available. Ustekinumab is an IL-12 and 23 inhibitor that's provided as a weight-based injection under the skin every 12 weeks. Guzalcumab is an IL-23 inhibitor that's provided as a 100 milligram injection under the skin every eight weeks. There are many benefits to these medications, including decreased swelling, improved pain and stiffness, improved day-to-day -day functioning, and a reduction in irreversible joint damage. Possible side effects include an upset stomach or muscle aches. There's also a risk for serious infections, and you should watch for a fever and skip your scheduled dose until you're feeling better, although it's always best to check with your doctor if you're unsure what to do. There's also a slight increased risk for certain types of cancer while taking these medications. Prior to starting the inhibitors, a traditional DMARD is generally tried first, and you may need to remain on methotrexate to ensure that the inhibitors work as best as they can. It's important to get a tuberculosis check, as being on the medications can cause a reactivation if you've been previously exposed to TB. You should also ask your doctor if you should get any live vaccines updated. A few things to remember are the importance of regular blood work to monitor for any problems. You should also tell your doctor about any other medical conditions that you have and any changes that arise. These medications are an effective treatment for psoriatic arthritis. To learn more about them, please read the information provided on our website at albertarheumatology.com. And as always, do not hesitate to talk to your doctor. 